तो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल स्टार्ट विद एन इंट्रोडक्शन टू द स्टोरेज सर्विसेज ऑन द एमेजॉन वेब सर्विसेज ओके एंड लेट्स लुक एट द मॉड्यूल कवरेज तो इंट्रोडक्शन टू द एमेजॉन वेब सर्विसेज स्टोरेज एंड डिफरेंशिएटिंग बिटवीन डिफरेंट ऑप्शन ओके एंड ऑब्जेक्ट स्टोरेज एंड की वैल्यू स्टोरेज दे आर डिफरेंट की वैल्यू स्टोरेज इज इन अ सर्टन वे सिमिलर टू द डेटा बेसिस एंड आई विल डू अ कंपेरिजन ऑफ दिस सर्विस की बेस विद द डेटा बेसिस ऑफकोर्स इट इज वेरी डिफरेंट ऑल्सो द बिगेस्ट डिफरेंस इज दैट दिस डज नॉट सपोर्ट ज्वाइन दिस डज नॉट सपोर्ट ज्वाइन बिकॉज इट इज नॉट अ रिलेशनल डेटा बेस सो टू से सो लेट्स गो अहेड सो वेन यू स्टोर a data on the amazon cloud okay on s3 which is the simple storage service the data is stored as bytes okay bytes means that it is it for the amazon web services it is just bytes it could be image it could be audio it could be uh, mri scans which require a certain software to read them okay and this was the first service which was offered by amazon web services and remember that it has many many storage services so if you look at the module number 164 slide number 11 you will see number of such services which are related to the storage and the one of them is the glacier which is for the archival services right so why it is so popular why amazon web services vis a vis storage is popular i'll tell you why there are many limitations of the traditional storage services what are those limitations over here i look at three limitations scaling speed and cost scaling speed and cost the traditional data storage cannot scale so so well with reference to what is produced today and what people and the companies like to store okay the scaling is not there the scale is not there the growth level is not there then is the speed because if all that data in in terabytes if that is stored on the web services uh, servers of the company okay or somewhere else using the traditional approach okay that congests the network that congests the network all right and then the cost is there the traditional systems are nowhere cost effective as compared to the amazon web services that we have discussed and we'll also discuss in subsequent modules also because of the sharing because of the network effect because of so many people coming over the amazon web services this cost of storage is amortized and it is very low okay and there has been change okay uh, network associated service storage or storage area networks they have been around for a while but they cannot keep up the pace with what is being generated and what the companies want to store what the individuals want to store that is why we look at the amazon web service story services so as i said before it's a collection of photos videos it imposes no structure you just store the bytes okay and user to know the object format and the manipulation methods how what tool is going to be associated with what has been stored what application will run it that is the responsibility of the user for the amazon storage these are just bytes remember these are just bytes it could be an image it could be audio it could be animation as i said it could be mri scans also and it is continuous data appending this is not like the conventional storage where i can make changes okay and those changes are stored remember there is a big difference the data is appended and as i will discuss in the subsequent modules we use the versioning approach to keep track of the changes and to get those changes and there is no update functionality there is no update insert retrieve insert retrieve insert and retrieve update is not there remember this so this key key value storage is somewhat similar to the databases why because uh, there is a key which is associated with all the records which are similar but if you are looking at the records which don't have a key then you have to scan through all the records 
For example, if I'm looking at the addresses and the key is not associated with the addresses, then I will have to scan all those records because the key is not there. So that the retrieval is restricted to the key value. And finally, if I need to combine the tables, if I have table one, table one, table two, table three, and I want to combine them like this, combine them like this to perform a join, that is not there in Amazon Web Services storage services. Okay, you have to do some uh, some working over there to combine the data from these tables to generate a collective or a comprehensive or a joined view or a joint result that is not there.